My fellow Americans, the host from The Late Show with Stephen Colbert nominates the finest actor from the Jeff delegation as my first guest tonight. Please welcome Jeff Daniels. Yeah. Good, good morning. Good morning. Exactly. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you. Nice to see you. Now, the last time you were here, you were on Broadway doing Blackbird, mm -hmm. and you were said you were looking forward to uh, getting some time off. Did that? Doing that? Yeah. Presently doing it. Yeah. Right now. Right now. This is part of the vacation. No. This is uh, working working hard right now. Okay, thank but, you very um, much. No. Now I, the beard. I, is this a common event for the vacation? Is this you relaxed? Or is this you preparing for something else? It just, uh, I just let it go, letting everything go. Oh, yeah. Every hair on my body, letting it go. Really? But normally you're well manscaped? <laughs> oh, I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we got a weed whacker comes in once a week, just for that purpose. It's good. Neighborhood kid? Neighborhood kid, good kid, good kid. <laughs> Couple of bucks throw him. You know. <laughs> yeah. In the wintertime, he shovels. <laughs> he shovels. <laughs> he shovels in the winter. In the wintertime. Uh -huh. Yeah, no, I, it's, yeah. It's, I'm doing a, a western. I'm doing a western in, oh. in the fall. And now, so, are you a desperado? What is the... I'm I, uh, going to look that up later. The... the... <laughs> It's sort of a bad guy, sort of a romantic that, yeah, bad that. guy. Romantic I'm, well, bad guy. Well, not romantic. No. no, I'm too old. But it was... It oh, was... I don't know. Is he too old to be romantic? <laughs> You're a good-looking man. You're a good-looking man. No, I'm playing a bad guy, so they're growing the beard out. I'm also uh, horse riding in Michigan. There's a, there's a guy... You know, you, is this something you've already done before? You already know how to horse well, ride? Well, you tell them that you have. You, you, you know, every... They call you up and say, hello, who is this? Netflix doing this? Netflix is Netflix, doing hi, it. this is Netflix. Can you ride a horse? Yeah, well, it's... Yeah, something like it, that? It, yeah, they go, well, look, it's a Western, and can you ride? And, of course, as an actor, you say, yes. I did a movie... 15, 20 years ago with, with actors who all said yes, and, and Canadian actors who are some of the finest actors in the world. I understand that, yeah. And, uh, yeah. But a little, one guy was a little shy of horses, and he skipped the horse training. He told everybody he could ride. We're out there in front of 500 extras. 500 people. We're in, we're in American Revolution, shooting in Toronto. Uh, American Revolution. <laughs> And this guy and the horse, and he didn't. If you don't sit right on the horse, the horse knows. Oh, they can smell fear. Oh, they can smell yeah. fear. And the horse just went boom, like that. Sailed. The guy sailed off the back. Boom. Lands on his back. The wig came off. The three cornered hat came off. 500 extras just went, whoa. You don't want to be that guy. Wow. So, but are, so now, have you trained up for this? Are you going to feel confident? I'm, like, I'm riding I'm, western. I'm, I'm, I'm cantering. I'm almost cantering. I'm going to gallop in two weeks. And, wow. and but you got what you learn. And I got a, a Brant Clark, great teacher in Michigan, a rodeo cowboy on weekends. And he's just he wears the hat, the whole thing. I'm wearing a hat now. I showed up. I showed up. <laughs> and he got a hat, or like well, the second like... time. First time I didn't show up with a hat. Second time I showed up. I had a hat, a cowboy hat that I'd bought for a stupid reason. And so I'm, and I, and I'm wearing it, and he doesn't comment on it. He doesn't say anything. Oh. Well, that's, I, I, you know, I got a hat. He's going, yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, it was just. So why did you bring the hat? So you know what it's like to, to ride be, with a hat on? I wanted to be cool. I wanted to be, I wanted to be like a cowboy. Okay. You know? But so, so I, once I have the hat, and you get the deer flies, it helps with the deer flies. And you get the, you get to do that once in a while. But and then one, you get water out of the creek, and you, and you get your horse, horse drink and all that kind of stuff? I rode the horse into a pond and out of a pond, and, and you learn how to ride. What's going on it, down there? It's, this happening? is... What's that? That looks like fun. What is that? This is you at one with the horse, because you got to tell him... Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're all... Mm -hmm. You look... You look... You look at John Wayne, big John Wayne, stud muffin John Wayne, to stud muffin until he was 80. But down below, he's at one with the horse. And that's legal in Michigan. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yeah, yeah. Now, let yeah. me ask you something. We're, 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 we're talking politics yeah. this week. <laughs> I know you've had a few opinions about politics. Last time we were on, yeah. you were talking about you liked Bernie, but you were heading for the hills. Heading for the hills. Okay, heading for the hills. Um, let's talk about the stagecraft for this week, because you, you're a trained actor, right? Like, you went to acting school and all that <laughs> stuff. Did yeah. you? Did you yeah. not? I thought you did. Yeah, I, I went to you... school. Yeah. Okay, you went to school for yeah. acting. Did you I learn did. anything while you were there? Well, um... That you could share. Like, well, you gotta... It, uh, they're doing a great job of imagining a better world, imagining a greater future, imagine... And that's, that's just basic acting. And uh, you see guys like Cory Booker, of course, Michelle Obama. Matt, I mean, just, they're just really good at it, the ones who are. Mm -hmm. And it's just basic acting, which is exercise, uh, exercises like alone in your room and scene work with other people and, and petting the kitty. You, you have a... Well, go back to what is that one? <laughs> I didn't... I've never... It's just a basic imaginary exercise okay. that you imagine that you have a kitty and you pet it. You pet the kitty. <laughs> oh, look, the kitty ran across the desk. Oh, let's go get the kitty and bring it back. Thank you. My kid, my, I have a shy kitty. I'm putting my kitty down back here. Yeah. So yeah. when you look at the, the stagecraft of these, of these conventions, do, what do you think of how they're... Do, have you watched the Republican and the Democrat? How would you compare the stagecraft? Yeah, I, I, I watched the Republican convention uh, the last time I watched it in full, uh, like 2004, mm -hmm. but uh, Bush and Cheney and... It's different this year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there, there's the D list, and then there's down in here. You know? <laughs> and down in here was where we were last week. But uh, um, um, I, I, 2004, I watched it, and I was so stressed out that I, I went and got a stress test. I got an EKG. Honest to God, after you watched Yeah, it? I thought it was, and they go, what, what, what brought... I said, I watched the entire Republican convention. <laughs> and what did they prescribe? Uh, you know, a month in the Bahamas, and just, like, rest, and don't, don't watch anything Republican anymore. That was, back, that was back when they were sane. That was back... Remember, these are the guys who, with a straight face, gave you Sarah Palin. They gave you Sarah Palin. Well, could if I could recommend something to calm you sure. down this year? Yeah. Maybe pet the kitty. <laughs> Let me know how that goes.